James Pittman, Mike Blythe, the future of exploration from an era gone by, a mountaineering fanatic, an aviator extraordinaire, two epic adventurers, two great friends. You know, one of the great things about Mike is that he loves to have fun. And I love that about him. No fun, no, I mean, I mean deepest, darkest no, Africa. James is crazy and spontaneous. Life feels good when you're safe. You can take things quite light-heartedly. He's a little bit disorganized. <laughs> He's exciting, he's uh, spontaneous, and uh, with it comes a little bit of disorganization. <laughs> James does a lot of dangerous stuff. We're faced with a real crisis, and if we don't do the right thing, then we're gonna die. Together with their close friend Marianne, James and Mike set off for another remarkable adventure. Their mission to fly to. Your hands and feet really take a battering. Climb and conquer three of Southern Africa's most treacherous mountain peaks. I need to file a flight plan. The ominous Bloberg. The spectacular Spitzkopper. The precarious Klein Winterhook. This is no need for parking. Hanging off that face, I know that Marianne can be killed. Through the wind and everything, I can hear James shouting to me. And then suddenly it's quiet. I, I didn't know. We were on our own, and we were either going to pull through or we weren't. Battered but alive, shaken but not beaten, the trio set off for their final ascent, Klein Winterhoek. A somewhat persistent James convinces an anxious Mike to join them on this journey's ultimate quest. I'd never done any climbing in my life. Fuck, I'm petrified. Are you there, Mike? Slightly panicked. I had to do it because I had no choice. I had to swing. I really felt quite desperate for him at that moment because I wouldn't have jumped off that ledge in a million years. <laughs> adventure sling around the world is so immense that the feat has never been achieved successfully by anyone ever before the ultimate is to fly right around the world they will design build and fly their own plane in an outrageous attempt to circumnavigate the entire globe sling around the world is unlike anything else I've ever done really because of the scale I don't know what the outcome will be. Something will come up somewhere. I know it because it's always like that. I certainly have thought about the possibility of death in the context of this trip. The big danger is flying across vast oceans. We have a handheld radio. We have flares. We're talking about more than 20 hours of flying at a time. We have a satellite locator beacon. We have a two-man life raft. As long as you don't lose your life, what the hell? It's an experience, you know. Go on, 